board shapes. What should you get? What should you roll with? Well, that's a very good question. And the answer is it really depends on you, your personal preference, what style of skateboarding you would like to do, and what skateboard is going to make that the most comfortable, the easiest possible direction. So this right here, we have what's called a fish board. Some people would say, oh, old school board. This is an old school board. It is an old school fish board. Why is it a fish board, you say? Because it literally looks like a fish. Don't you see that? Tail and the nose of the fish, nose of the board. Um, so this is a really wide skateboard, gives you a lot of surface area. If you're just learning to ride or you just want to cruise, this is a really cool looking board that's going to definitely do that for you and more. You can learn tricks on this. This was my very first skateboard, looked very similar to this, and I learned tricks on it. Um, but this, what you would call like this standard popsicle shaped skateboard, maybe not as like wild and crazy and cool, but this is probably your best option for just learning how to do the basic skateboard tricks. What I always tell people is get this board in a size eight inch wide, get through the kickflip, and once you're up through the kickflip, then you can go, oh, I really like this kind of skating. I really like gravitate more towards old school tricks and want to do more like bonelesses, which you're going to learn the boneless on your way to the kickflip. It's part of the series of tricks that I have listed out for you to learn. So get out there, get shredding, and get your skateboarding on.